in an ideal world, would you prefer this to be just another game, or does the hype around the place mean that you can never have it that way? No, it's great. It's uh, it means that we're in where put in where shout and. Uh, I'd have taken this position at the start of the season, two points behind Liverpool. So uh, it's a healthy position we're in, and uh, we'll do everything we can to try and to try and win the game. Would it be too strong to pack this game up as a fourth place decider? Uh, no, I think you would be you'd be correct in that. But let's remember, there's games after that where teams can can. I think if we won the game, would you turn around and say that's Everton fourth? I don't think you would do. Uh, you might do that if Liverpool won it. But uh, there's a lot of games to be played after that. Would it be very hard if Liverpool established a five-point lead to overhaul them with just six games left? Well, you probably would have expected that before the start of the season. You'd have probably thought they'd have been in that position just now. They're not, and we're only two points behind them. I suppose with what's been happening with the Ashley Cole and Javier Mascarano incidents, restraint on the field of play is going to be very important. Would you have a special word with your players regarding these issues? No. We've always been very good here. There's never been a problem with Everton at all. <clears throat> Do you feel that referees, though, might just be a little bit trigger happy, a little bit can't happy with throwing them off? Well, I think if you, I think if you, if you run after referees and you abuse them, then then you would deserve to get sent off. I think if you're talking about being competitive in tackles, that's different. Uh, but we certainly don't run after referees. How difficult is it for people and players to keep emotions under wraps? Because during the last Merseyside derby, obviously passions really run high with the mm-hmm. two dismissals of your players. Yeah, well, I think you need to look at the two dismissals, don't you? You know, one one was probably correct, the other one was a handball in the line, and it happens. I don't think that's the way you're asking the question. Sounds as if it's as if it's a big battle and it was a fight. It wasn't at all that. Uh, there were two sending offs, and and in the main, I think they were both correct. How hard is it when you face a Rafa Benitez team that often has a number of changes? Well, they've got a really good squad of players, fantastic group of players, good, uh, you know. Some of them really top top end of the market, so you don't know what they're what they're going to do. But uh, I'm more interested about in what we are going to do and how we play. We've done very well this season, and uh, you know if we keep playing as well as we have done, then then it will be a it'll be a difficult game for Liverpool. How do you feel with current form? Current form, we're fine. Uh, you know we we've had a couple of games where we've maybe not been as good as we have been, but but over the over current form, I think probably since Christmas time or so, I think we've probably been the top two or three in in the Premiership. You beat them at home last season, 3-0. Is that one of your most memorable results as a manager? Yeah, but uh, you know, once you do it, then it, it, you move on, you go into the next one. You don't really look back on, on what you've done before. So I think I got asked the question by somebody during the week in an interview, and it was one of the games which came to mind. But uh, once you once you do it, then you sort of move on. OK. Well, by, by David, it's, it's not necessarily a must-win game uh, this weekend. What was your reading of the... Of the last seven or so games that you've got left? Uh, well, the d- tough games we've got, we've got uh, but so is everybody. And at the end of the season, you're never quite sure how the results go. So we've got to make sure that we, we keep the teams behind us, away from us, and, and we'll try and catch the teams above us. And it, the first team above us is Liverpool, so we have to try and do that. Would their advantage be perhaps a little bit more depth in their squad? Well, I think that's. I think you're asking an obvious question. I think you know the answer to that, so I think you're all aware. What have you been doing this week international-wise? Did you take in the game on Wednesday? Uh, no, I didn't. No, I, I watched the I watched the games on television, both England and Scotland. How are your lads that have been away on international duty? I think they seem okay. Uh, had them back and had them in training this morning, so I think they look okay. I think. Tim Cahill, how's he at the moment? He's uh, got a broken foot. Would you expect not to be able to select him for the remaining matches? I think that's quite an obvious answer as well, isn't it? If you have a broken foot. I well, there you go. Well, what about the rest of your squad? Um, Yobo, um, how's, how's, how's he at the moment? Yeah, we expect everybody to be fit. Yeah. Okay, cheers.